Hello, this is a comparison between two grand pianos recently into stock. This is a Yamaha G1 160 centimeters long. Now this is the Bluthner Style 4 150 centimeters long, made in 1933. The Yamaha was made in uh, 1986 and is in really perfect condition. There's not even any scratching on it. And as we'll see in a minute, it's not really been used since it was made. Uh, very often on the top of pianos, uh, uh, polyester mahogany, you find there's a fade line where the, the, the lid's been held over like that. And we mentioned this on other videos and you lift it up and find there's a difference in color. Uh, but in this case, it's all exactly as it was when it was new. Now the Bluthner is fully restored by Bluthners in about 1982. And uh, as you can see, it's a walnut cabinet and uh, really very, very tasteful to look at. And again, no fading. Uh, it's practically perfect condition. We uh, just uh, put, added a bit of extra polish on the top just to liven it up a bit. And uh, you won't hopefully notice any of the very slight repairs we've done here, but uh, they're hardly noticeable. Now the Bluton has been extremely well restored as you might expect from Bluton themselves and has a new rest plank. That's the wood underneath there. So for, it's, it's every much as good as a new piano. Uh, very different tone as we're going to find and the touch is slight, very slightly lighter on this piano. So touch and tone are what concern us the most. So we'll, we'll uh, compare that in a second. Now the Yamaha 2 is really immaculate in, internally as well. And uh, we've cleaned it slightly, but it hasn't needed much cleaning, just all sort of dusting and uh, a little bit of cleaning on the soundboard got a bit of dust on it, but um, is looking to all intensities like purposes like a, a brand new piano. Now the Yamaha has three pedals, the middle one being a sostenuto pedal, which is really very rarely used by musicians, but just have a quick look at what it does. So if I play two notes together like that, press the sostenuto, they hold up and we can play other notes and those ones still hold up and still carry on. More useful perhaps in the bass end, let's try the bass. Uh, octave D here and then we can play a chord of D and the octave D still holds on the bass. The Blutner along with most older pianos just has two pedals. Here's a modern Ibark grand piano and that has two pedals too. And a fully restored Bersendorfer with two pedals. And a brand new Foric with three. Now most musicians are just using the sustain pedal which holds the notes on and then Obviously you release the sustain pedal or they use the on a quarter pedal which moves the hammer sideways um, and That's not used an awful lot by musicians either, but it does give you the option to have a contrast in tone Now if we look at the hammers on the Yamaha, we can see there's hardly any indentation at all just played in a bit really you can just about see it here um, so that's good really because when a piano is played in it just gets its optimum tone. And the Bluthner hammers also very very little wear. You can see you just can see the string marks there and uh, just just played in again so, um, so as we listen in a minute both of them have an exquisite tone. Now the touch rate which is really important for musicians the Yamaha is about 52 grams in the centre, it's slightly heavier in the bass, slightly lighter in the treble. That's the weight which we put on it and then encourage it down. Official way of hitting under the key bed and then you get the, the, um, the key going down. So the same on the sharps. And we've uh, lubricated, worked on this piano to get even up the weight. And the blues are slightly less, 48 grams in the centre and then slightly heavier in the bass, slightly lighter in the treble. Let's try and get an idea of the difference in tone from playing some of the middle section here. And the blues there. It's a softer tone. And the Yamaha, this is a particularly Wonderfully toned Yamaha, 1986 is a wonderful year for Yamahas.
the length of the piano, that's a wonderful tone, 150 centimetres is quite short really, and uh, for short, small grand pianos, I think the Bluton is one of the very, very best. So that's a comparison between this Blutner 1936 style 4, which is 150 centimetres long, uh, fully restored by Blutners, and, and com comparing that with a, a Yamaha, which we'll play in a minute. The Yamaha is 1986 and it's 160 centimetres long. Now the touch also feels different, hard to explain, but I really love the touch on the Bluton Star 4 and when it, especially when it's fully restored. In terms of longevity, in, in a sense the Blutner will outlive the, the Yamaha. The Blutner is made to be fully restored and fully restored is like a new piano. If you're a musician and, and want a piano that, that plays so you can have take exams and so on, then apart from the weight being slightly less on this one, there's no absolutely no reason why you shouldn't choose an older piano. But let's compare that with the Yamaha. And now the Yamaha, a slightly longer piano, therefore the bass is richer. This particular Yamaha is, I, I think it, we haven't had a better um, piano of this length in before, for a Yamaha that is. Slightly heavier touch, which if you're taking exams, if you're practicing rather, then in some ways that's an advantage because it allows you to strengthen your fingers more. If you're an occasional piano player, then uh, the Blutner might be more preferable. Both pianos are, are extremely good examples of their type, really. And we perfected them so that the touch is as, um, uh, as, as accurate as possible, in other words, as sensitive as possible for very soft playing. Thank you very much for listening.